In this video, we're going to cover how to do a proper forward roll. Now, when kids training to do forward rolls, they have different variations. Some of them they do because they practice gymnastics before, so they do a gymnastics forward roll. Jiu-jitsu forward roll is a little bit different, um, again, simply because of, of um, uh, the smoothness of this, the speed of it, and the elements that comes into that, right? So basically, it also, it also depends uh, how old is the child when they practice forward rolls. So the, b the easiest forward roll to teach is the gymnastics forward roll, which goes through the head, right? And it looks like this. So they usually go, they put the head on the floor, they jump over, and they roll, right? And again, so it goes on the head, push forward, and say he roll on the back, okay? So this is also a forward roll, but again, this is mostly how forward roll done in gymnastics. In jiu-jitsu, it's done a little bit differently. And uh, in jiu-jitsu, a forward roll basically starts from the shoulders and goes diagonally through the back. And it looks like this. Okay, so when you forward roll, you roll through a hand and through the shoulder, right? You go here, hop. And again, there's many variations. It can be done also from standing position. So you stand, hop, and you roll, okay? Now, how to start working on a forward roll? This is an issue with both kids and also a lot of adults struggling with it before they start jujitsu to understand how it works, right? So the basic way to address it, or the easiest one that we found that works, is like this. Okay, you sit on both knees, base one hand on the floor. The other hand goes under in this space with the palm up, okay? And then your head supposed to follow the hand. So you're looking under your armpit to the ceiling. So when you do this, your shoulder actually start touching the floor, right? Here. Now when you get to that position, it becomes very, very easy to roll forward because you simply just need to squat up and jump. So it's like this, hands on the floor, here, and then you roll over, okay? That's the easiest way to do this. It's very, very safe for the neck. Many adults, uh, when they learn forward rolls, one of the biggest fears is that they're gonna injure the neck. And if you follow it properly, you can't actually injure the neck other than if you're gonna look to the wrong way, right? So if you follow the arm, here again, you base, palms up, you look in the space here, look to the ceiling, put your shoulder on the floor, roll forward, and that's roll, right? So as soon as you kind of get more efficient in that, you can start doing this from different positions, not only from kneeling, you can go one knee up, hand on the floor, roll over. Okay, it's exactly the same principle, just done with different velocity, different speed. Okay, then when you go do that, you can do it from standing. Again, you dive with the hand across, then you put your head across right here, Cross, then you dive in, okay? So the principle of the hand goes across the body. That's what makes it a bit different from a gymnastics roll and um, how to roll through the shoulder, right? So again, the basic starting starts with the gymnastics roll, with the one with the head straight, like this, up. So then the kids get the confidence of rolling forward, then can switch and to the jiu-jitsu one where the hand goes on the floor, head dive in, make sure, again here, look in the space, you get on your shoulder, then just roll over, okay? Again, it's just kind of a fear um, that both kids and adults need to overcome of rolling, especially if you've never done it before, uh, but as soon as you do it, it becomes pretty, uh, pretty simple, pretty obvious. Um, and then you can start speeding it up, play with it, standing from kneeling, one knee on the floor, one leg up, um, etc. Okay? Try to practice it at home. Let's dive in to the next.